Are you worried and upset about many things? I have a good scripture for you today. It's from our lectionary reading in Luke chapter 10, verse 38. It says, as Jesus and his disciples were on the way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had her sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, Jesus replied, you are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is better and it will be not be taken away from her. Have you ever had like good intentions? Maybe you wanted to have a dinner at your house and then you just get all upset. You had good intention to go on a vacation and then that vacation just put stress. You had good intention to take care of your mom and dad and it just brought stress in your life. You had good intentions to volunteer for your church, but now you just regret it. You know, Mary had good intentions. She opened her home to Jesus. That's not a bad thing, but her good intentions wasn't enough because she got distracted by all the preparations. And then she started to feel sorry for herself and realize she has a sister that can help her. Why does the, the Lord get involved and get someone to help me with my problem? But you know, Jesus replied, Martha, Martha, are you a Martha? Do, do you hear his words ringing into your heart? Martha, Martha, you're worried and upset about many things. Only a few things are needed. And then he stops and says, actually only one. And Mary has chosen what was needed. And that was to sit at the feet of Jesus to hear Jesus teach. You know, Martha opened up her home because she wanted Jesus to teach. But she got caught up with unnecessary things. And how many of you, you get caught up with unnecessary things. You forget what it's all about. It's about hearing the words from Jesus. And she realized her, her, her sister Mary was doing what was right. And that was sitting at the feet of Jesus. And I think she heard and she sat down and she can go make the dinner later. But right now, let's hear the word of God. Maybe you feel like God's speaking to you about your distractions and your worries. Quit being distracted by all the things of life. Take it easy. Stop. Pause. And think about how good God is. And just put the word of God first in your life. And everything's going to take care of itself.